Hello TPG team. Uh, the next video in the series here is going to cover this contact panel, uh, adding the new, new versions of this onto pages or updating the ones that are already there. So if we go into the back end, we can see that this is that row. It says want to learn more about partnering with. Um, I, I think we've covered most of these things before in previous videos, but obviously if you want to edit the headline, uh, that's accessed um, right here. Uh, and to edit the button, maybe we have not covered this one before, but uh, just like with other elements, you click on the pencil, which is the edit portion. Right here is where uh, the link would be edited. So you come right here to select URL, um, and you can search for the page and select it right here, or you know whatever makes the most sense to you. You can come uh, out here to the page and you know find the form and copy paste the link directly from the URL bar, uh, whatever makes the most sense. Um, these are, I think, always within the site, so we don't need to check open a new tab, but if you do decide to use this for some some new purpose and link out, obviously you would check that, that little box right there. Um, and let's see, oh, if you're adding a new one, uh, I've added it to the list of templates here, so you come right up here to templates, uh, and it is called um, contact panel. So just click that, and as with any of the templates, it adds it in to the bottom of the page. So you would just come here and drag this row up to wherever it is that you wanted it to be, and then edit as needed. Um, these spaces are here, and make them all exactly the same size uh, and proportions. Um, so probably don't need to, to mess with any of that. If you do decide at some point that you want to change the color of these, that's simple enough. Um, we have set these up just like with changing the background colors. You come over here to the row, you can see that there's a color here and a background image. That's why there's two swatches. So you would just click on the pencil there, come to this Design Options tab, and you can see here's a transparent PNG. That's the speckly bit, and then here is the background color. So you could uh, just change this background color to, you know, whatever it is that you wanted, um, and then it would still have that speckled appearance, but be this new uh, mustard yellow or whatever it is that you wanted it to be. I think that is everything for the contact panel, but as with all of these, um, if uh, something is confusing or I've skipped something that you need to know, let me know and I can make a new video. Thanks so much.